Safro Electronics and Defense, we are a periscope supplier uh, for many shipyards uh, and we are seeing progressively the evolution towards the non-penetrating technology, uh, uh, meaning the optronic masts uh, versus the uh, traditional periscopes. So uh, we are up now to our third generation of masts that are in service with uh, many platforms. Um, currently uh, under uh, trials and uh, operational and uh, we are already working on the next generation, our fourth generation of, uh, of masts for the, the future programs. Uh, a significant program is the, uh, the Australian uh, uh, Future Submarine uh, Project, C-1000, for which we are currently uh, working with uh, uh, Australia to define the, uh, the future uh, system characteristics. So uh, a, a typical ship set uh, for, for submarine mast is composed of, a, of an attack optronic mast, which is uh, highly stealthy, uh, with a low diameter and low signatures, uh, completed by a search optronic mast, which has advanced capabilities for uh, searching uh, the surface and the air uh, regions, uh, and to automatically uh, pinpoint uh, potential threats. And the last element of the ship set is the uh, navigation radar, which is uh, now available from Safran in a low probability of intercept version to again uh, increase stealth and uh, lower the probability of counter detection. Currently, we have uh, many submarines undergoing trials. For instance, the uh, first Barracuda uh, submarine, the Suffran, is currently uh, uh, navigating with uh, all three of those uh, uh, masts. Okay. Uh, simultaneously, we have uh, now the uh, P-75 uh, project in India, which is uh, fitted with a similar uh, ship set, except the attack mast is uh, replaced by an attack periscope, traditional attack periscope. And we also have uh, two other uh, submarine platforms on which we have fitted our masts, the, uh, the search mast. So the A-19 uh, submarine from the Swedish Navy and the future A-26 as well as the uh, KSS-3 of the uh, uh, South Korea uh, Navy.